एक्सरसाइज 9.1 क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ए 1.5 मीटर टॉल बॉय ही स्टैंडिंग एट सम डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ए 30 मीटर टॉल बिल्डिंग सो लेट अस कंसीडर दिस इज अ टॉल बिल्डिंग व्हिच इज हाइट ऑफ 30 मीटर ओके सो हियर ए एंड बी एंड सी ओके 1.5 मीटर टॉल बॉय इज स्टैंडिंग एट सम डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ए 30 मीटर टॉल बिल्डिंग सो दिस इज अ टॉल बिल्डिंग व्हिच इज हैविंग अ हाइट ऑफ 30 मीटर्स so now the angle of elevation from his eyes to the top of the building increases from 30 degree to 60 degree as he walks towards the building so he is walking towards this building so now the boy is standing here and a boy is standing here okay so his height is 1.5 meter so this 30 meter is from this point that is this ground this is ground point okay so here this is 30 meter up to this one so now so a point this is a and this is b and this is c a boy standing at point c and here this is b okay so now he will move towards this building and he will come to this point that is a d point he will come and the at that point the angle of elevation will be like this okay so here initially it was 30 degree and now it becomes 60 degree okay so now he comes here okay so let it be q and this is r so see that this CDB is parallel to PQR because the boy is moving from this point to this point. Okay. So now we will consider a boy is at point C. So first case, case 1. So at point C. At point C. See here, angle we know. This is height we know. See height, this is from this to this one. So this height will be how much it is? See here, the height that is BAB. A B distance, this A to B distance will be is equal to 30 meters minus the minus the height of the boy that is 1.5 meters. So this is equal to 28.5 meters. Okay, this is A B. So now actual height will be this 28.5 meters. So if it is considered that is angle of elevation 30 and 60 at point C that is tan of 30 will take. So, because tan of 30 is nothing but opposite divided by adjacent. So, we have to calculate this adjacent side. That is BC point we have to calculate. So, here tan of tan of 30 is equal to here opposite side. Opposite side means this is 28.5 meters now. Because it is an AB. AB distance divided by BC. Here BC. BC we have to calculate. So, BC is equal to 28.5 divided by tan 30. 1030 value so 1030 equal to 1 by root 3 so this is 1 by root 3 so bc is equal to 28.5 into root 3 meters okay this bc we got that is bc is nothing but pr okay bc is equal to 28.5 root 3 meters which is also equal to pr because both are parallel so now in the second case that is case 2 here that is a boy at point at point Q okay at this point the angle of elevation will be 60 degree so tan of 60 degree is equal to opposite by adjacent opposite here again this is AB this is AB adjacent side means this is up to this point only so BD so here BD distance is equal to AB means what 28.5 so tan 60 that is tan 60 is equal to so this is equal to root 3 tan 60 equal to root 3 that is 28.5 divided by root 3 this is equal to bd so this is 1 this is 2 okay so now here we got this qr distance that is bd is equal to 28.5 divided by root 3 which is also equal to qr that is pq or cd they are asking that is pq is equal to so total distance pr minus this is qr so PR is nothing but what 28.5 into root 3 minus 28.5 divided by root 3. So here the LCM will be root 3. Okay. 28.5 root 3 into root 3 minus 28.5. So root 3 into root 3 will be equal to 3. So 3 into 28.5. This is equal to 85.5. 85.5 minus 28.5 divided by root 3 okay so now this is equal to 57 divided by root 3 so this root 3 we can rationalize that is multiplying and dividing by root 3 only so here 57 root 3 
divided by 3 that is root 3 into root 3 will be 3 only so 3 1s are 3 so here 20 is 3 9s are so this is equal to 19 root 3 this is meters so exercise 9.1 in that question number 7 from a point on the ground C the angle of elevation of the the bottom and the top of a transmission tower fixed at the top of a 20 meter height building here this is a building let us consider this is let us up to from B to D BD is building height that is height of building okay and AD here AD is nothing but tower this AD tower is fixed on the top of this BD that is on the top of the building the point on the ground from this point this is a ground point it is viewed that is bottom first and top that is bottom and top of a tower this tower has been viewed with an angle of 45 degree and 60 degree respectively that is bottom will be 45 degree and uh, top will be viewed at an angle of 60 degrees okay so now he has given this 20 meter and this this distance he has not given okay so bc also he has not given so find the height of the tower so t we have to find out okay so first what we have to do we have to consider this one see this angle that is consider triangle bdc because you see if you consider this one bdc what happens so 20 meter he has given angle we know so we can able to find out this bc distance so after finding this bc distance so then what you have to do we have to consider this bigger triangle that is ac and b so that in that what happens this bc distance we already know that one so that we can able to find out this total ab so after that total we have to subtract this 20 means you will get this t okay so first we will consider triangle bdc that is smaller triangle that is within an angle of 45 degree okay so here tan of 45 see here opposite we know adjacent we have to calculate so here we can take this tan as a trigonometric ratio that is tan of 45 is equal to see here opposite divided by adjacent okay so opposite divided by adjacent so opposite side means what here here bd this is bd divided by bc okay bc we have to find out so bc is equal to bd divided by tan 45 okay so bd is equal to here 20 meter okay 20 meters divided by tan 45 value is equal to 1 so bc is equal to 20 meters so this distance is also equal to 20 meters okay so now we got this distance so now we will consider this triangle acb that is consider triangle a c and b okay so in this bigger triangle the angle of elevation will be 60 degree so here also opposite divided by adjacent we have to take because adjacent value we know so opposite value half of value we know so here tan of 60 is equal to opposite divided by adjacent okay opposite here what it is that is a b divided by b c so tan of 60 tan of 60 here we have to calculate a b so a b is equal to b c into tan of 60 so here this comes to b c is what 20 meters so tan of 60 is nothing but tan of 60 is equal to root 3 okay so this is 20 root 3 so now what we have to calculate we have to calculate ad only so ad can be written as total distance ab minus ab minus bd okay so this ad can be this is equal to this total distance minus this bd so that you will get this t so ad is equal to ab means what ab we have calculated 20 root 3 okay 20 root 3 minus bd is equal to here bd is equal to what we know that is 20 okay so here 20 we have taken common okay root 3 minus 1 so here this can be best understood by having this diagram see here this is a building and the top of the building there is a tower okay so here point b is on the ground and point p is also on the ground so from this point p here the bottom of this tower has been viewed with an angle of 45 degree 
and the top of the tower is also viewed from the same point it is equal to 60 degree so in the first case we have considered this smaller tri tri smaller triangle that is pb and this point okay that is equal to tan 45 so this is opposite divided by adjacent so opposite is nothing but bd so this distance okay bd divided by bc here bc is nothing but bp they have taken so now here bp we have calculated that is bc distance that is equal to 20 meter so after that by knowing this distance we have taken this bigger triangle okay that is 60 degree so tan of 60 degree is equal to opposite divided by adjacent so here this total distance this total distance we have calculated which is comes to 20 into root 3 but we know this 20 already so this ad is equal to so total distance that is 20 root 3 minus 20 so here only that is substituted so here 20 we have taken common so 20 into root 3 minus 1 so the height of the tower that is t distance is equal to 20 root 3 minus 1 20 into root 3 minus 1 this much meters okay so now we will go for next one exercise 9.1 in that question number 8 a statue 1.6 meter tall here this is a statue this is 1.6 meters okay tall stands on the top of the pedestal okay this is the pedestal height so from this to this one from a point on the ground the angle of elevation of the top of the statue is 60 degree so this is from this point the top of the statue that is point c that is equal to 60 degree and from the same point the angle of elevation of the top of the pedestal here this is the top of the pedestal or the bottom of the statue one and the same so that is equal to 45 degree so find the height of the pedestal so this height they have asked okay so now this is point here a b and c and this is p that is here we know that the that is ac ac is equal to this is 1.6 meter statue height and here bd oh sorry ab we have to calculate ab we have to calculate so now first we have to consider so here first we will consider this is smaller triangle that is consider abp here consider triangle abp okay in this triangle in this right angle triangle which is right angle at b so here opposite and adjacent will take so both value we don't know that is tan 45 is equal to that is ab divided by bp so tan 45 is equal to 1 which is equal to ab divided by bp so which can also be written as ab is equal to bp okay let it be 1 so we will consider next triangle that is bigger triangle consider cbp triangle okay in this again tan 60 that is tan of 60 is equal to opposite divided by adjacent opposite is nothing but c here this is cb total cb divided by adjacent that is bp okay so here tan 60 is equal to what tan 60 equal to root 3 tan 60 is equal to root 3 okay so here this is equal to cb divided by here bp so instead of bp we can write as ab okay here this is from equation 1 okay so now root 3 root 3 into ab can be written as cb okay cross multiplication so cb here we know that total cb that is length is equal to here ac plus ab okay so here root 3 ab is equal to ac plus ab but here we know the ac length and here root 3 ab minus ab is equal to 1.6 that is equal to ac so here ab common we have taken so root 3 minus 1 equal to 1.6 so ab is equal to 1.6 divided by root 3 minus 1 okay so this can be rationalized that is root 3 plus 1 and root 3 plus 1 okay so now here so ab is equal to so 1.6 into root 3 plus 1 whole divided by this is a minus b into a plus b that is a square minus b square a square means 3 minus b square means 1 so here ab is equal to this is 3 minus 1 will be 2 that is 1.6 divided by 2 into root 3 plus 1 so which is equal to here 0 0.8 0 
0.8 into root 3 plus 1. Hence, the height of the, here, the height of pedestal, because AB is nothing but height of the pedestal. Height of the pedestal is equal to 0.8 into root 3 plus 1 meters. Okay. So, now we will go for next one. So, exercise 9.1 in that question number 9. Here, the angle of elevation top of the building from the foot of the tower. So, there are one building and the tower. Both are there. So, this is the building and this is the tower. So, here the angle of elevation of the top of building. Here, this building top. The elevation will be 30 degree. So, from the this bottom of this tower. Okay. And the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from the foot of the building. Here, this one. This is 60 degree. So, if the tower of the if the tower is 50 meter high, this is 50 meters high. So, then what is the height of this building? Okay. This building height he has asked. So, first you consider, see here, given is this one. Okay. You consider triangle DBC. Triangle DBC. Okay. In this, we know that the angle and this is opposite side. And adjacent side we have to calculate. This one first we have to calculate. So, here opposite by adjacent is nothing but what tan so tan of 60 degree is equal to opposite side that is cd divided by adjacent that is equal to bc so bc we have to calculate bc is equal to cd divided by tan 60 okay cd so cd distance that is equal to 50 divided by tan 60 is nothing but root 3 okay this is meters so 50 divided by root 3 meters this distance that is BC so by the use of this BC you can come to this triangle ABC that is consider consider triangle ABC in this triangle we know this distance and the angle so height of the building we can calculate that is opposite divided by adjacent again so here tan 30 is equal to opposite means AB that's what we have to find out so divided by BC so this we know so, AB is equal to BC into tan 30. Okay. So, here BC is nothing but what? 50 divided by root 3. Into tan of 30 is nothing but 1 by root 3. Okay. 1 by root 3. So, this is equal to root 3 into root 3 will be 3. So, that is equal to 50 divided by 3. So, this is 3 ones are 3 ones are 20, 3, 6, 18, 20, 3, 6, ja. So, that is 16.6 meters. Or we can write it as 50 by 3 meters only. We will go for next one. So, here exercise 9.1 in that question number 10. So, two poles of equal heights. That is one pole is AB and another pole is CD. So, opposite to each other on either side of the road which is 80 meter wide. So, here this is a road that is BC is a road. So, which is having a 80 meter wide. From the a point between them on the road. Here, the angle of elevation of the top of the poles are 60 degree and 30 degree. So, one angle will be 30 degree and another will be 60 degree. So, find the heights of the poles and distance of the point from the poles. Okay. So, this AD, we have to find out AB and CD and here BP. Okay. Or this is PC. Okay. BP or PC. Here he has given that two poles of equal heights only he has given. So, find the height of the poles means. So, height will be same I think. So, that we will see. And the distance of the point from the poles that is BP or PC. Total distance he has given 80 meters. Okay. First, we will consider any one of the triangle that is for example, this is DPC. Okay. Consider, consider triangle D, P, C. Okay. So, here this diagram, this triangle. So, here in this triangle, you take that uh, tan 30. Tan 30 is equal to opposite by adjacent. That is opposite means here C, D. Okay. C, D divided by this is C, P. Okay. C, D divided by C, P. So, now tan 30 value, tan 30 will be 1 by root 3. Okay. 1 by root 3. And because we don't know both these values. So, we will write CD divided by CP. CD is equal to what? CD is equal to, here because we want CD only. So, CD is equal to CP 
divided by root 3. This is one value. Because we don't know CP value. If you know the CP value, you would have been find the height of this pole. So now we will consider triangle A, B. So now we here tan of 60 is equal to again opposite side divided by adjacent side. So opposite side means AB divided by BP. Okay. So now tan 60 is equal to what? Root 3. So root 3 is equal to AB divided by BP. Here AB. So AB is equal to root 3 into BP. Okay. So here what he has given here from from statement here two poles of equal heights that is equal heights equal heights means here AB is equal to CD. Okay. So substitute here AB value here as a CD is equal to root 3 into BP. So call this as equation 2. So from from equation 1 and 2 here this is 1 and this is 2. You observe here compare CD is equal to CP by root 3 here CD is equal to root 3 into BP. So comparing this one so CP divided by root 3 is equal to root 3 into BP. Okay. So like this we can write here CP is equal to what? CP is equal to this root 3 will comes here. So root 3 into root 3 into BP. So which is equal to root 3 into root 3 means 3 that is 3 into BP. So CP is equal to 3 into BP. CP is equal to 3 into BP. Okay. So this is what? So here this CP is nothing but 3 into BP means this is 1 is to 3. So now we will substitute here. So here BC total BC we will write now. BC is equal to BP plus PC. Okay. This we can write. So here BP plus PC or CP. Here PC is nothing but CP. Okay. This is equal to 3 BP we will substitute. So BP plus 3 BP. Okay. So this is equal to 4 into BP. So this BC distance is equal to 80 meters. So BP is equal to 80 divided by 4. So 4 ones are 4 twos are. So this is equal to 20 meters. So BP is equal to this is 20 meters. So total will be 80 means here this will be 60 meters. Okay. So then CP is equal to 60 meters.